following your intuition. It led you right here, right now. I couldn't be more grateful to join you on your mat today. So please find yourself in a comfortable seated position, any way you like. I got myself in cross-legged so I can hold on to my knees. We're just gonna start to develop the mind-body connection by breathing in, lifting the shoulders, looping them back on the out breath drop. In and out through the nose with this breath. Inhale, shoulders rise up to the ears. Out breath, loop them back and around, sitting up tall. In breath, take it in. Through the nose, lifting up. Exhale, round the shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale through the nose. Whew, that feels good. <laughs> Let's inhale the arms straight up over the head. Big breath in. Each finger to touch. Palms rest at your heart space where it matters the most. You can tuck your chin and develop your intention for your practice. An intention is a little blueprint, a uh, home base, if you will. Where do you want your mind to come back to during your practice? Is it the breath? Is it the present moment? Is it your gratitude for the strength of your body? Whatever it may be, take a breath on that. Inhale. Exhale, so it is. And from this place, let's find some flow. Arms come by your sides. Let's take that right arm up first. Left arm is down on the mat. Maybe fingertips up, maybe palms down. On your in-breath, that right arm raises up, reaching long, anchoring through the right side of the body. This hip wants to come with us. Keep it dropping down. We keep reaching over the head. Out breath brings you to the ground. In breath takes you up on the left side, reaching over to the right, maybe the pinky edge of the hand towards the face, reaching long to that side body. In breath to the top. My breaths are really long, so if we're not in sync, just do your own rhythm. Follow your own breath. Just out breath to center, in breath to the top. Out breath to center. In breath, top. Reaching. Out breath, both arms down. Now we're going to recruit a little bit more of the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right arm down. Reach long in that left side body. Maybe look up to keep integrity in the head and neck. And maybe walk that forearm down to the mat, so the elbows down. Keep rooting through that left side of the body. Let it feel really good to open up this. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out. One more breath here, try to relax through the knees, through the hips. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up, anchoring through that right side. Maybe the forearm and the elbow come down. You can reach up even further. Think about reaching up rather than over. Keep integrity in the next straight line of energy coming out of the crown of the head. Another breath in through the nose here. Out through the nose, relax to that right side. In breath to the top. Exhale, both arms to the sides. Just notice what you feel. Now we'll play with the neck a little bit. We'll go neck circles to the right. Big circles, one more to the right. And then we'll go to the left, up and around, gaining spaciousness. Last one to the left. Excellent work, hands on the knees, roll the shoulders up, sit up tall. Exhale, relax, remember your intention. We're gonna take these two hands to the front of the mat and stack the knees underneath the hips. Our wrists fall right underneath our shoulders. And we can start to massage it out, take any organic movement that just feels good and right for the body, whether that's circles or dropping the hip to one side, anything that feels good. You've got a couple more breaths here to just explore. Whatever feels nice and right in your body, get funky with it, close your eyes. And then we'll start to develop our cat-cow. This is great for our posture, great for the spine. So what you'll do is you'll drop your belly, lift your tailbone, expand through the collarbones, pull the shoulders back, and lift the chin on inhale. On out breath, tuck the chin, round the back, push the mat away, curve. 
In breath takes you forward. Collarbones expand, belly drops, head lifts. Out breath curve around, chin into the chest. Tailbone tucks under. In breath to cow. Maybe a little smile here as you expand the shoulders. Collarbones widen, exhale, curve and round cat. Inhale to neutral. And exhale, sit it back to a child's pose. That's knees out, toes together, if that feels good. Maybe the arms extend and rest one ear to the mat. Just take a beat here, take a breath. Return to this pose at any moment. Surrender can be more difficult than the postures we actually take. So play and have fun with it. But if you need a space to take a break, this is it. <laughs> Without further ado, we'll rock it up to tabletop. Ooh, spine's nice and warm. Let's step back with that right leg to stretch the right calf. Bring the knee back underneath the hips and the left leg back. Stretch out the back of the left leg. And back to tabletop. From here, push the ground away, lift up, tuck the toes, and just lift the knees, hover over the mat, about an inch. We're gonna turn on the belly this way. And then you're gonna sit the hips back to the heels, and then press your hips up, let the head go through the biceps, and allow the heels to mount down. Create length through the side body and the shoulders, pushing the mat away, maybe clawing into the mat to engage the outer arms. Push the hips up, allow the head to be heavy. Maybe a no, maybe a yes. Let's end on a positive note. Then maybe swaying the tail side to side, pedaling out, however you feel when you get here, explore. Have fun with it. We'll take an in-breath here through the nose. Unconventional, out through the mouth. <sighs> Rest your heart back towards your thighs and then press the heels so that you can stretch the backs of those legs. Take a breath. We'll maintain that breath in and out through the nose. Press the left foot down as you lift on in-breath that right leg and roll out the ankle. Let me drop it down. Pressing that right heel towards the ground. In-breath takes the left heel up. Ooh, a little cracks in the ankles there as you roll out both directions. And both feet meet at the mat. In breath takes the right leg up, out breath, curving around the back, think cat, as you bring the knee into the nose and replace the right foot with the right hand. When you drop that back knee on this first lunge, you can untuck the toes here and just think about looping those shoulders back how we started, opening up the chest, sending the heart forward. You should feel that stretch through the hip here <laughs> and breathe. We'll tuck the back toes to lift the back knee or stay here. This is completely fine. If you want a challenge, charge up that stretch. Lift up that left leg, left hand to your left hip, right hand to your right hip, and then inhale, peel your chest up. You're gonna take some strength in that front leg. Keep it bent 90 degrees, ankle and knee in one line. We'll take the arms from the hips and circle down, back, and around, reaching up. And then the hands will come to the floor, framing the inside of the right foot. You can come up on the edge of that foot if it feels good, bowing out the knee. Drop that back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, right arm comes forward. All the way around. Exhale, reaching out through the back. If you wanna stay here or here, this is fine. Or you can try and grab for your foot, pull it in nice and close. Feel that stretch in the quads, if it feels good. And then gently release. In breath, takes your arm back up. Reach long in front of you, stretch through the side body. And then pull that right hand back to replace the right foot. We'll charge up this back leg to step back to our first plank, a real plank. The first one was a crawl plank. So this is it, y'all, let's fire it up. Pressing the ground away, separating the shoulder blades. Squeeze the belly. So you can see I can hang out here in a plank and it's not doing too much, right? Besides putting too much pressure on my wrist. But that lifting, that straightening of the body, that curving, bringing the hips into the ribs, that's gonna turn it up. So the heels back, squeeze, 
and then bend your knees to the mat. Let your head fall through your biceps. Inhale, lift the tailbones to the sky. We're back here. You can take that in breath through the nose, out breath through the mouth. Let something go. Leave that right foot pressing down. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, curve the back, round through. Replace left foot with left hand softly. Maybe drop that back knee. So we can just set it up with care. Hands on the outsides of the foot. Maybe relax with that toe, reach the heart forward. Feel the sensations without giving them name, without judging how flexible or how stiff you may be. Just breathing through it, aiding to that space with the breath. And keep your back knee down, but tuck those back toes. If you'd like the challenge, charge up that back leg. Left hand to left hip, right hand to right hip. Inhale, open up. Find that lunge, that strong foundation. Ankle and knee, one line, 90 degree ankle and knee. Arms float by your sides. Inhale, rise up, big circle. Like you're taking in this energy that's all around. Exhale to the floor. Take that left arm forward, inhale. Reach up, back, and around. We can drop that back knee and maybe allow the foot to reach for the hand. If this isn't available, just reaching. Or maybe the hand to the inside of the knee. You can look over the opposite shoulder, that feels great. <laughs> At any rate, you'll inhale, rise back up, arm comes up. Exhale, reaching it forward, side body stretch, and then hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the right toes, send the left foot to meet the right. Strong, firm plank here. Take a breath in. On your out breath, elbow creases roll forward and you bend your elbows back so the elbows graze the ribs. Float it all the way down. <laughs> Tuck the toes together. Hands walk towards your low ribs. Inhale, lifting up. Peeling the heart off the mat, squeezing the legs together, elbows are tight, exhale, lower. <laughs> maybe rest one cheek, maybe arms by your sides. We're gonna go for two more. Bhujangasana, cobra pose, amazing and necessary for women to do each day. So let's sit it up with care. Hands underneath the shoulders, zip up the mermaid tail, inhale, lifting up. Elbows loop back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, feel that pressure. Exhale, lower, opposite cheek to the mat. Maybe arms by your sides, maybe the toes plug together. Just take a breath. Building that heat, it feels great. <laughs> Hands underneath the shoulders, zip up the legs together, squeeze everything in the back body, inhale, lifting up. Maybe pushing through the arms, lifting up further. Reach the crown of the head forwards. Maybe further. Exhale, lower. We'll place the forearms down for a pillow and point the toes to face each other. Take a breath here. <sighs> Bend your knees, rock your legs side to side. Let it feel really great. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Push yourself up to tabletop. Only to cross the ankles and let the feet come out in front. Sit the hips back. Whew. Any movement that's necessary. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Then exhale, reach forward, reach long. Try to reach past your toes if the toes aren't there. Underneath the calves, pulling your head forward or just cupping underneath the knees. You can always bend the knees and just let the head drop. Take a breath here. Feels great to stretch and move the body. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to sides. That felt great. Let's come to a butterfly stretch. So soles of the feet to touch. The wings can start to fly. It always feels good to just loosen up this uh, big joint of our body with this movement signaling it. It's time to move. Maybe rock the boat side to side. Let it feel really good. Grab a hold of your ankles, inhale up. 
Exhale, elbows to knees and just round in on yourself. Let the upper body weight just press on the lower body without too much effort. Take a breath. Roll up, chin into the chest. Knees together. Give yourself a hug. Mm, I love you, Heather. You can say I love you to you too. <laughs> now we'll meet back in a cross-legged position because all great things come full circle. So we'll come back to our cross-legged, hands on the knees, loop the shoulders back, sit up tall, maybe flutter the eyes closed and take a breath. We can inhale the arms up to the sky. And exhale, pull the prayer into the heart center. Bow on the chin, maybe the gaze softens if the eyes are already closed. And you can tune back into that intention. You showed up today, so have gratitude for how strong and healthy your body is. For that connection from your mind to your body. And now you're strengthening the connection to your highest self, to your spirit. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking this time out for you to elevate your individual vibration that in turn elevates the entire world. I hope you feel how important you are. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, thank you. Without you, <laughs> ciao. Stay safe, friends. I miss you so much. <laughs>